Introducing Versadex. The original plate joinery indexing system. Versadex presents the amazing 31-inch Versadex Mega NCW, a dedicated joinery workstation for handheld biscuit joiners and mortising machines. All of your butt and miter joint requirements can be easily handled by this one beautifully efficient, integrated and dedicated joinery workstation. The Mega will speed up your panel cycling times and give your operators a more comfortable milling experience. Let's get the Mega set up and mill some panels. To start off, it's very easy to make end face cuts. The Versadex is very versatile at indexing. That's how it got its name. The indexing system uses exchangeable template sets with inscribed lines indicating the center lines of the slip tenon mortises. Your cabinet depth will usually determine the required array spacing. To load a base cabinet side into the Versadex, you push its rear edge against the left red fence and engage the automatic spring closer to hold it upright. As I mill, notice how I am using the red lines to visually guide my joiner rhythmically to the workpiece and then begin my plunge cut in exactly the right place. See how the red lines and the mortises line up perfectly. Remember, red fences, red lines. So now I'm on the black right fence. Remember, black fence, black lines for indexing. Have you noticed that I'm not lifting the joiner at all? I'm just sliding it along. With the Versadex, this is true maybe 80% of the time. That means you're not usually holding up eight pounds of machine like you probably are now. You're relaxing, you're having fun. You almost always have two hands free to handle your panels and that makes for light work. And it's gentle, rhythmic work too. Dust is the enemy. Dust or debris between the referencing sole plate of the joiner and the template surface will disorient your mortises and that means trouble. But it's easy to keep things clean, see? When two panels will fit across the Mega's 31-inch platform, you can double mill. You can even mill in multiples, which we'll show in another video. Milling in multiples requires a particular template array, dependent on your cabinet design, plus a few accessories to control all of the pieces. Both double milling and multiple milling can really boost your output, so you should try out those techniques. Having easily milled one end of this pair of sides, we'll turn them over and each will move to the other fence where I'll get them set for the second milling, again with their rear edges against the fences. Remember the red fence and red lines are used when left side indexing and the black fence and black lines are used when right side indexing. Man, that was easy to do. How about milling the other half of the joints in the top and bottom panel's ends? It's very easy to make end edge cuts too. End edge cuts require down clamping force on the panel. The Mega achieves that clamping force with a pneumatic pressure bar mounted behind the cross panel but activated from the in-feed side. The downward force holds the panels in place and flattens any cupping or bowing the panels may have, so they can be properly referenced from the template surface.
Hello, I'm Steve Lanning, the owner of Versadex. I hope you've enjoyed our presentation video so far. As you've seen, the Versadex Mega makes easy work of indexing and will significantly boost your production. It'll work with most of the currently available mortising machines too. There's nothing else like the Versadex Mega. The dual fences, the bicolor indexing, and the paired template sets all work together in a unique systems triangle that is integrated, efficient, and markless. In December, we will begin posting our latest three-minute Versadex videos covering a wide range of techniques. I designed the Versadex series for high-volume shops and factories, but even one-off shops will find it helpful because it's a dedicated workstation, always ready to go in 30 seconds or so. Your Mega can be set up to be completely self-contained with onboard compressed air and vacuum systems. If you want to work fast, work comfortably, and make fewer indexing errors, you need the Versadex. Okay, let's finish up with mid-panel face cuts, the most difficult type of butt joint. Thanks for watching and enjoy this last bit. Then explore our website, email us with any questions, and order yourself a Versadex Mega today. It'll save you time and it's a lot of fun to use. Even mid-panel face cuts are super easy now. Of all the butt joints, mid-panel face cuts used to take the most time and were the most cumbersome. Not anymore. The Versadex handles these cuts as easily as the others, and with no changeover of any kind. Two cabinet sides are loaded horizontally this time for double milling mid-panel face cuts. These mortises will be used to mount a fixed shelf. I'm setting the flip stop locations now, which will position the side panels such that the bottom of our shelf, once assembled, is exactly sharing the plane of the vertical template, because those are our two referencing surfaces. I'm almost ready to start milling these mid-panel face cuts. As I'm milling, I'm putting moderate pressure against the vertical template and the cross panel to be sure that I have a solid and consistent referencing surface. I'm letting just gravity and the spring action in the joiner's plunge mechanism apply the necessary downward pressure to keep the joiner steady. For the cuts from the left, I lined up the red indexing lines on the vertical template with the center line on the back end of my joiner and I've used the black lines from the right fence. Because we always index off of the rear edge of a panel, and this mid-panel shelf is not as deep as the cabinet side because of the cabinet's recessed back design, we have to make up that missing piece of the shelf. We do that with a fence spacer, equal in width to the amount of panel that's missing. The fence spacer indexes the shelf in the correct place for milling relative to the fence we're using. Because this cabinet has but one shelf, we don't double mill, but we do have to balance the drop of the pressure bar on the clamping system. We do that with a clamp spacer, equal in height to the piece being milled, in this case, three quarters of an inch. With the shelf ends now milled, we can assemble the shelf to the side, and you can see how it fits and aligns perfectly, flush at the front and stopping at the face of the cabinet back. It's so easy with the Versadex. And here's our glued up cabinet. Thanks for viewing our presentation video for the all new 31 inch Versadex Mega NCW. Keep checking our website for new three minute methods and techniques videos that will appear soon and regularly. Please take a second to email us and let us know what you think of this new Versadex. Tell us what we could have explained better, or ask us any questions you might have about the Versadex indexing system, its integrated triangle of pairs, or the Mega itself. 
or the family of Versadex components. We'll try to make our videos in the order of your expressed interest. We'll keep your email address to ourselves. Read over our privacy page. The credits are almost done. I'm Steve Lanning at Versadex saying so long for now. Say goodbye, Bailey. Bye. Bye.